Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at ad groups, text ads, and keywords. The campaign we're going to look at has been created by a junior wonk before they have sat their AdWords qualification exams. This is the very first campaign that they've created, and they've been given three products to advertise on behalf of the client. We're going to get straight into looking at what we need to do to clean up these ad groups because we will encounter a few errors in the creation of these text ads and the keywords that we have in the ad groups. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is to choose the ad group in question that we want to look at. And the first one is Invisalign. We can get there by going on to the Invisalign ad group underneath the campaign and the all online campaigns column or we can click on the campaign and click on Invisalign. This will take us to the keywords and here we'll see that there are three keywords. Now that's okay, that's good, there are three keywords. As we begin to monitor the campaign we may add or pause keywords dependent on the campaign metrics, the bounce rate, the conversion rate, how much we're actually getting back from those keywords. For this particular ad group, we're concerned with the ads, and we'll go through those one by one. There are four ads in here. The first is Custom Made Invisalign. Get a beautiful smile with clear braces. Talk to our friendly team. That's good. It's got the display URL with the phone number in it, which means that the title and the description text can be kept really nice and tight, informative, and then the phone number can be as a part of the display URL. Invisalign clear braces, straighten your teeth invisibly with Invisalign, talk to our team. Not as good, but okay. Invisalign for teenagers, the cool alternative to braces for teenagers, talk to our team. Now, that's not a very clear call to action, so we're going to make a change to that text ad. Instead of having talk to our team, we're going to have talk to us today with an exclamation mark. The reason that we're going to do that is because it's a far clearer call to action for the person reading that ad. If you say talk to us today and then they see the 0800 number, they're more inclined to call you straight away. They're going to go, wow, okay, that's exactly what I'm looking for. My uh, child, my teenager does want braces and they don't want to have the stigma that comes along with uh, traditional braces so they can have um, clear ones and you can give them that peace of mind that they can call through immediately. Invisalign cost and value is the final ad and again we've got the talk to our friendly team. So outstanding value for a price of the smile, talk to our friendly team. We're just going to change that to talk to us today. Reason for that again is just that clear call to action. Please do it now. You know really hit it home that if they're going to see your ad you want them to do something. You want them to call you and we've made that really easy without them having to click on the ad because we've added the phone number in there or they can click through and they're going to see the relevant page that you've sent them to. And just on that, we'll see that the domain name is Dental Artistry and the domain name inside the destination URL is also Dental Artistry. The page that we're sending them to is slightly different. It's Invisalign and forward slash Invisalign cost. If we click on save and we'll just save that change, click on this ad, we're not sending them to Invisalign cost, we're sending them to Invisalign team. And again for this particular ad is what is Invisalign. And the final text ad is also what is Invisalign. So if you've got a domain name in the display URL, you can send them to a different page for each of your text ads so long as the domain name and the destination URL is the same. Okay, so we've made those changes to the text ads. Let's move on to orthodontics and have a look at the keywords that we have in there. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to notice is that we have a keyword called orthopedic. Now that's got nothing to do with Orthodontics, orthopedic, has to do with spinal work and very different to dental work. So we're going to delete that keyword by clicking on delete. Okay, so we've got braces in there. Now that's a broad match keyword. I'd imagine that as soon as the campaign starts, we're going to shape that keyword. We'll probably make it a phrase or exact match because braces 
has a lot of synonyms. It could mean people are looking for the new fashionable uh, braces that are gonna hold up their pants and we might be getting really poor quality impressions and the wrong type of people clicking on our ads. So we may need to really work on that braces keyword. Invisible braces, we actually already have that in the Invisalign ad group. We don't want the same keyword in multiple ad groups. So we're gonna remove that. Also gonna remove Invisalign and we're also going to remove tooth colored braces. We're gonna to have to put that tooth colored braces into the Invisalign ad group. So if we just click on delete and then we can go to Invisalign and add in tooth colored braces. The reason that we're doing that is because Invisalign are clear braces, they're the same as tooth colored braces. If we jump back into orthodontics, we don't actually want those keywords in the orthodontics ad group. We really have ad groups specific to the type of product that we're selling. And in this case, it's orthodontics. So I know that the client has said to us that they want to have functional orthodontics as well as non-extraction orthodontics. So we'll add those two keywords in as well and click save. So what have we got? The two keywords I just added, braces, orthodontics, cosmetic dentistry, not so much in regards to braces and orthodontics. We might put that into veneers and crowns and delete. Jump into veneers and crowns and we'll see that actually that keyword's already there. So just when we do see double up keywords, just remove the keyword. Uh, lingual braces, straight braces, and removable plates. So all in all, pretty good keywords. Again, once the campaign begins, we may begin to shape that keyword list by maybe making it a, an exact match keyword, putting in negative keywords if we're getting wrong impressions. If we click on ads, orthodontists for you, create beautiful smiles and faces for children and adults, talk to us. Not a great ad. Start with, we don't have caps on our title. And again, create beautiful smiles and faces. Let's just make that create beautiful smiles. We'll see if we can't get four children in there. We probably can't, no. So. We'll make that kids, so we're taking up more of the text. And adults, talk to our team, Ooh, get that right, today. And then we can put an exclamation mark in there. Okay. Just to keep this video nice and short, we're already running at eight minutes. We won't create any more text ads, but we need another, at least another two in there, preferably three. If we jump down to veneers and crowns, we'll go to keywords first. We'll see cosmetic dentistry, veneers, porcelain veneers, and porcelain crowns. So those four keywords aren't too bad. We've cleaned up the double ups of the cosmetic dentistry that was in orthodontics. It's probable that we're going to want to increase the number of keywords we've got in there, but we'll do the testing. We'll also tell that the Junior Wonk has put in some negative keywords, so king, prince, princess, queen, and royalty. Because we're talking about crowns, we may get a few of those egregious type keywords. People searching for things that have no relation to the product, therefore we don't want to be showing the ads for those keywords. So we've put in some negative keywords, which is really great. Remember that for a lot of this tutorial, there are companion tutorials on our Webonks campus. We've got tutorials that talk about negative keywords. We've got tutorials that talk about just text ads, tutorials that talk about just ad groups, tutorials that talk about just keywords. But this is just an overall look at an ad group text ads and keyword creation. Just finally, let's look at the ad that we have, veneers and crowns. It's a very simple title and we may want to create text ads that have additional information there because the person's typed in probably veneers and crowns or 
on, in our keyword list, variations of that, they're gonna know that's what we've got. So you might wanna have that call to action in there. So perfect veneers and crowns perhaps. So then we've got improve your smile with porcelain veneers and crowns, call our team. Pretty good, not such a bad ad really. Uh, stock standard, I'd give that a B. But again, we want to have three or four other ads in there so that we can get the AdWords algorithm to cycle through for us so that we can get the best possible return, highest click-through rate, low impressions, high clicks, low cost per click, high average position. So that is, in a nutshell, how I would look at ad groups, text ads, and keywords. Remember, the key takeaways from this tutorial is do not double up keywords. Make sure that your ad groups are really specific to the type of product that you have and that your text ads have a clear call to action, have more than three in the ad group and are meeting the best practices. So making sure you've got capitals for each of the words in your title, no spelling mistakes, clear call to actions and leverage that display URL with your phone number. If you're on our YouTube channel watching this video, please head to the WebWonks website and sign up to our free campus. We've got more information on tutorial pages about everything. If you have any questions about the tutorial, please head to our Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash WebWonks and ask us a question. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we hope that your AdWords accounts are really prosperous. Otherwise, give the WebWonks a call 0800 932 9665. Thanks for watching.